You were classmates with Judge Day at Regent yes. University. What went through your mind when you heard that the felony firearms charges had been dropped against him? Well, it was a day of great joy just a few days ago to uh, learn about that. Uh, you know, Vance Day is a superb human being. I got to know him 30 years ago here at Regent. We've kept in touch over the years. He married a young lady here from Regent, great family man. But we've kept in touch over these last couple of years, especially as he's been uh, targeted for prosecution and I think persecution for his Christian faith simply because he chose not to perform a same-sex marriage. In Oregon, it's permissible for judges to do it, but not required. He quietly declined to do one. And I think the series of criminal charges, of bar complaints, and uh, persecution by the Oregon uh, uh, Attorney General's Office and others has all been, uh, has all stemmed from that. But if we take this victory as a sign of God's providence and his protection over Judge Day. It was a frivolous case to start with. A witness didn't even show up. It was a one witness case. And, uh, you know, I think the government probably knew that was going to happen. So well, you yourself, you're no stranger to the courts. Right. You actually faced two years in prison after being convicted of political corruption. But the United States Supreme Court voted unanimously to overturn your conviction. Does this case remind you of what you went through? Well, it, it does to some degree. Mm -hmm. Each case is different, but I just believed with all my heart that the charges that came against not only me, but my wife and indirectly my entire family were were completely uh, wrong. And uh, ultimately, after uh, 42 months and $27 million of legal fees, the United States Supreme Court una unanimously vindicated us. But I just get that sense in my case that, uh, that the prosecution was uh, wrong from the beginning and should have known it. And, and I think equally in Judge Day's case, uh, that uh, there were perhaps other motives for targeting him for prosecution that had more to do about his Christian beliefs and less to do about the law. And so it's a, you know, when uh, when God vindicates his people, uh, it's a day, it's a time for great uh, celebration. In my own case, God gave me early on in my prosecution Psalm 35, and at the end of that, it says, uh, the "Vindicate me in your righteousness, O God. Contend for me, my Lord and my God. Awake and rise to my defense." And so that's what I knew from the beginning that was going to be my story of the case. And of course, God delivered uh, in, in a great way in the United States Supreme Court unanimously. And and now with uh, Judge Day, by having the government have to drop the charges because the witness didn't show up. Well, you are a man of great faith yourself. And then talk about, for me, the faith of Judge Day. Yeah, I, he is uh, such a genuine, authentic person. I realized that 30 years ago when we were in uh, the master's degree program in government here at Regent University. We were in prayer groups together. And uh, I just know over the years he was a person that took uh, his faith, uh, his political views, and his practice of law uh, very seriously. He had uh, been uh, actively involved in the Republican Party in Oregon, which makes you pretty much a minority <laughs> in, uh, in that state. And But I always found him to be resolute in what he believed uh, politically, theologically and spiritually, just a very genuine man. Governor Bob McDonald, the former governor of Virginia, thank you so much for your time and your okay, insights Mark. today, sir. Glad to do it. Thank you.